Alan Branson says that this district is very similar to the one he represented when he was a Guilford County Commissioner. Voters may remember Branson's fight against Guilford County's $1.7 billion school bond. One of the biggest things I would like to see us be able to put a little closer eye on is the monies that we're, that we're spending. What are we getting? What is the bang for our buck? That, um, and what I mean by that. Most Republicans don't talk about raising taxes, but Branson, who owns a trucking company, says something has to be done about electric cars. Electric cars are going to be taxed some way. I don't have the uh, crystal ball or the, uh, the knowledge to know exactly what that's going to be, but with the future moving forward towards electric, we're going to have to have a revenue generator. Despite polls showing a majority of North Carolina residents support medical marijuana, the House Republican Caucus has blocked efforts to legalize it. Well, it seems to be every time I ride down the road now, it's in the air. You smell it. Uh, do I think that it should be legalized from a medical standpoint? If it helps the person who's suffering from cancer severely and there's nothing else out there and, and they're willing to uh, take a chance at it, I don't have a problem with that. I would support medical marijuana. Branson says he struggles with recreational use of marijuana. You just brought up the incentives, and I wonder if you support that idea. Economic incentive is a piece that I started out back in 2012 that I said uh, I was never really fond of supporting and um, still not really fond of supporting uh, as a small business owner, family business owner. Do you think that they work for North Carolina or do you think they're a bad idea? I have voted for some economic incentives and again I've voted for some. I have not voted for some. Sure. Could you give me a, a difference between you and your opponent, something that the voters should know, something that would help them make a, a choice between the two of you? I think experience uh, from a small business owner, meeting a payroll, uh, working with a tax piece, uh, insurance piece, you know, as a former elected official for eight years, serving Guilford County. Branson's opponent in the GOP primary is Alan Chappell. You don't have to wait till March 5th to cast your vote early voting already underway. Bill O'Neill, WXII, 12 News.